Biggest Rap Beefs of 2020 Who doesn't love a good rap beef? For as long as the genre has been around, rap beefs and fights have been as enthralling a part of hip-hop culture as the bars themselves. Whether they take the form of raging Twitter fingers or epic diss tracks, hip-hop beefs in 2020 are prevalent among rappers at all levels of success. These epic feuds will undoubtedly make you want to break out the popcorn. So here are the biggest new rap beefs of 2020. Before we dive into this list, make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 10. Young Chop vs. 21 Savage Starting off with a short-lived beef that turned out bad for one side, we have Young Chop, who decided that he was going to get things started after starting some out-of-nowhere beef against 21 Savage. Chop used his Instagram to get on live and create unnecessary drama with 21 Savage. Chop had a lot to say, including a story he told us claiming that he had 21 Savage scared and running away from him at his studio. The truth behind this was never proven, but things took a more entertaining turn after young Chop went back on Instagram to record himself riding through 21's hood looking for him. Along with some other dumb decisions made by Chop, the result of this ended up with him behind bars, with 21 on the outside laughing about the entire situation. Number 9. French Montana vs. Young Thug The list of back and forth between these two rappers is a long one, so we're going to do our best to condense this beef. This intense drama all started when French Montana claimed on Instagram that he had more hits than Kendrick Lamar. If this is true or not is open to debate, but as far as this beef is concerned, this is what opened the can of worms. Apparently Young Thug took offense to this claim and responded to French. However, French didn't like the way Thug came at him and took to Instagram again to post a pic of Thug wearing a dress and Thug responded by saying that French blocked him from social media and claiming that it wasn't him in the pic. Then a lot of accusations came from both sides. This beef is petty and a lot of talk and even if it eventually cools down, we can pretty much assume these two will never be on good terms in the future. Number 8. Mace vs Diddy Back in the mid-90s, Mace and Diddy were on top of the rap world. Today they're feuding over publishing rights. In an Instagram post, Maze blasted Diddy over his speech at last year's Grammy Awards, particularly the part where Diddy said that he wanted artists to take back control of their work and that he's now or the artist. Well, Mace has something to say about that, criticizing Diddy over his past business practices and how he still has his publishing rights from 24 years and only giving Mace $20,000 for his work. Well, Mace wants his publishing rights back and he also claimed in the Instagram post that he offered Diddy $2 million to buy the rights to his music. Well, Mace claimed that Diddy insisted that he match a European who was offering him more than what Mace was putting up, and he felt pretty insulted. It remains to be seen if Diddy answered back, but what we know so far is the relationship between Diddy and his former partner in crime is soured. Number 7. T Grizzly vs Royce During an appearance on The Breakfast Club, Royce said that he asked Eminem, one of the greatest rappers of all time, to hold off on a video that would feature both Grizzly and Royce. During an appearance at The Breakfast Club, Royce said he asked Eminem, one of the greatest rappers of all time, to make a video featuring both Grizzly and Royce. Grizzly was puzzled by the decision, turning to social media to convey his opinion of Royce, who would have asked Eminem to postpone the position he took. Some Reddit users have wrote that Royce didn't diss Eminem, but it seems as if the damage has already been done. Number 6. Stormzy vs Wiley Across the pond in Great Britain, two of England's biggest rap artists, Stormzy and Wiley, are having a battle that's growing so epic that the O2 Arena may be the perfect battleground to see who really is the king of rap in the UK. Unlike modern-day rap beefs, this rivalry actually began in the studio, with Stormzy tweeting that he would battle Wiley on any station he wanted and would bury him for all the UK audience to hear. Wiley appeared to have enough, firing back in a session of tweets, saying things like how Stormzy was only talking because he was out of the country. Wiley accepted the challenge, so stay tuned because this is getting real. Number 5. Lil Pump vs TJX6 This beef began how a lot of rap beefs start, stolen flows in territory. First came the flow, in which TJ claimed that Lil Pump took his flow in bars, even going as far as to claim that Pump was afraid that TJ would blow right past him. Lil Pump responded in a still up Instagram video, saying that TJ is playing with him and insisted that all his flows and bars were his, not copied from anyone else. Oh and for good measure, Pump also insisted that he was the king of Miami, which threw a ton of salt on the wound of his beef. Number 4. Joe Budden vs Jay Electronica The beef began on Budden's podcast, in which after listening to Jay's new album, Button laid on much criticism for Jay's album. The criticism didn't hit too well for Jay, who sent a tweet in response, saying that he never heard about Button's albums. After that, the beef began to cool down, with both expressing love to one another and an old video surfacing of Jay and Button actually hanging out. In the same article, Jay even mentioned that he actually respects Button for how he keeps it real.
It's safe to say this beef, while hot for a while, has finally chilled. Number 3. Royce to 5'9 vs Yellow Wolf Yellow Wolf went on Instagram recently to announce that he was dropping the new You and Me video soon, which was filmed at the Fillmore in Detroit. In the caption, he managed to get a little dig at Royce to 5'9, saying that the numbers do lie and telling Eminem to get his hype man before the wolves do. If you thought Royce to 5'9 would leave this beef sit cooling in the oven, you would be far mistaken. He hit back at Yellow Wolf in the comments, saying that he could remove him quicker than he deleted this post. So stay tuned, because it's becoming interesting. Number 2. Nicki Minaj vs Meek Mill There's been bad blood between Nicki Minaj's ex Meek Mill and her current husband Kenneth Petty for a while. On February 5, 2020, Minaj took it to another level after seeing that Mill had liked a meme making fun of her new husband. She posted on Instagram that he's a clown. She also posted a photo of Meek looking down at his phone, covering his face with a clown emoji. Not surprisingly, Mill did not take this well. He hopped on Twitter to lob his own accusations at Minaj. This continued with more tweets and more accusations from both sides. Their relationship may be over, but it seems that this beef isn't going anywhere. Number 1. 6 9 vs The World and Meek Mill When it comes to this beef, there's no other way to put it other than 6 9 vs Everyone. Because there's not just one rapper that 6 9 is in a conflict with, but instead a long and endless list. He holds the crown as the most hated rap artist in history. Starting endless drama with so many different rappers that it's hard to keep up. But if we had to address one specific beef, it would be the one that had the most activity. Throughout his list of enemies, the one rapper who seems to be the deepest involved would have to be Meek Mill. Let's be honest, Meek Mill has made it his sole life purpose to end and discredit 6 9 Like Snoop Dogg, Meek Mill doesn't forgive snitches either. Unlike the case with other artists, 6 9 has been gentle with Meek Mill. He hasn't had a lot to say about him. However, when the opportunity presented itself, he dragged Meek Mill through the mud. He showed no remorse when it came to throwing shots at Meek, and the constant back and forth seemed to get into Meek's head after he posted a somewhat settled tweet in which he threatened 6 9s life. This is one beef that does not seem like it will be ending any time in the near future. Meek has his hands full with Nikki on one side and 6 9 on the other. Them being friends just makes it worse for Meek, and who knows what the future holds with this triangle of drama. Good luck to Meek Mill on this one. And with that, we end today's video. What was your favorite rap beef from today's video? Is there any others that you would add to this list? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and give us a like. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss a future video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.